communion. And that is the goal of the communion. Bringing strength and weakness. Bringing men into the same common strength. If you are not born in a Christian, you become otherwise. Where is Ibrahim? Ibrahim. Can you take some testimony? Five minutes. Ibrahim, come. I was just talking there, I just realized. This guy is a Muslim. He just got converted. Come here. And let me tell you the sincere truth. It takes a different level of information and encounter for you to change from being a Christian to a Muslim. Or a Muslim to become a Christian. This guy is born a Muslim. He has been colonized. I get to my point now. The information that has entered his subconsciousness and has manifest is Islam. But one encounter with Jesus. It formatted everything. Formatted everything. They have tried to kill him. They are still trying to kill him till now. They can't. Why? When God put his hand upon something, you can't take the hand. Your hand will be tired trying to take it. You don't know who God is. You know, sometimes when we talk about God, people just think God is just their mate, it's just one idol. Idol is stupid. You can break an idol when you're angry. Can you destroy God if you're angry? No. Every one of us bow before him. This guy's father is a king. His grandfather is a king. His father is a former, is a former member of House of Assembly. In National State ever. When he got born again, the Holy Ghost enter. All the families in Allah. They just drove him out of the house. Just five minutes. Just say something. Five minutes. How was the encounter? Praise, Praise, the, name in <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I am greeting each and every one of us all here in Jesus' name. Uh, my name is Ibrahim. Before I was a Muslim. But now I now become a Christian. Uh, simply means it is just because I go through the, the law of Quran and for the scripture say if you know the truth and the truth shall set you free in Surah Imran Imr chapter 80 verse 81 Quran said Takshirun fiel asama wa yomil arafat that we should be very aware that there is no any body that is coming back to this world in order to receive his people except Jesus Christ. I still go ahead to the Surah Tul Bakara, which is the last verse, chapter 100 and verse and chapter 101, verse 18. He said, Alif Lam means Al He said, Go the Father, go the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, if these people reach where this voice is, they are now beginning to say it's a breach. But he did not tell them the meaning of that. So, as I convert to Christianity, I am not coming here because of money. Or something. I decided to convert into Christianity because of salvation of Jesus Christ. Because I say Christianity have nothing to give me. So therefore, as I receive Christ, I receive a lot of challenge. But I thank the Lord God Almighty. The very day that I got converted to Christianity, I went to the Baptist church. Then the pastor you now quickly called my, my the junior brother, which is to my grandfather. He taught him that, see your sons came to the church. So I should better let you to be aware of it before later on you come and begin to be questioning us all so much in court. So I now came before we, when we dismiss and I am coming back, there is two of my brothers that they are, they are army. So these people, they were there busy searching of me because they heard that I convert to, I went to church that day. As I came out, I reached my house. 
Then by then, my father, he was not at home. He traveled to Abuja. Then he now, as they called him and told him, he now quickly ran away and came back and met with us. So he now beginning to tell them, let them, them, let them just put anchor for my legs. The next thing, they put me in quarter. And therefore, after they put me in quarter, I spent good three hours and 30 minutes there. By then, my grandfather was not feeling fine. He, he heard that someone quickly ran away and went and told him that this is what is happening with your, with your friend, which is a brain. See what his father is doing to him. My grandfather, he now quickly ran away and come and met with us there. He said, there is a womanizer, there is a drunkard, smokers in this community. But we are watching them. We did not do anything to them. But look at this child. It is only because of church that he went. Then you now carry him and put him in the quarter. Is this thing good? This he did not stop, stop there. After I removed me out from the quarter, they fetched water, five bucket for me, in order to go and bath. After I bath, finish, then still put anchor for my legs. The next thing they went and locked me inside the room. I spent good three days. I was thinking that I would die, but I did not die. My father came and asked me, do you repent or oh, up to now you are still there? I said, I am here. I will never die. As far as I did not die for this good three days, it means even though I am going to spend a year here, I am not going to die. So he removed me. After he removed me from there, the next thing to do, they went and packed all those small, small stones for Kualta. Then put it in the ground. That my brother that he did for Air Force, he said, let them bath my head first. As they bath my head, he said that I should carry my leg and put it in the ground on top of that, those small, small stones. And leave my hand, my, my leg up. So as I, I am doing that, I was crying because this thing, it pains me not be small. After they did that to me, I come, I come back and he said that I should sit down. I should open my eyes and begin to watch some. I watched some for good two hours. But still, he said, have you repent? You come back to Muslim up to now you are still there. I said, no, even though I will die in the death of eternity, I am not going to back there. This decide to give them an a special digest and you know extraordinary things of surprising. They say which count witches and wizards that you you went and chop it there in the church. I said there is no any witch. I you know it is the son of the living God that is with me. Is my mentor. He was the person that is mentoring me, not to be afraid of them. And after that, in the next three days, they still went and find a nail. They come and try it on my head. This is the place. It did not enter. This is where, this is the place that, you, that even make me to stand firm. I tight my teeth better you know, title in order to stand strongly, strongness without be afraid of any bastard demonic among them. There, later on, one wife to my father because she married three wives, she find a poison and put it for my food. And I, I pray, I eat the food, I did not die, I am still alive. After one week, which is on Friday, I locked myself inside the room, then went to Moss for Juma. They was then come and invite me that I should go and attend the, the Juma together with them. I said, I'm not going anywhere. He said, my father said, if you don't go today, you are going to die. I said, let me try your own special intention, possible best, best, and try whether you feel 
touch me or not. I refused to go. Then they went. Before then, this me is saying, they, my elder brother, which is the second learner me, he now came and saw me. I was in the inside the room, was busy searching the scripture. By then, it was NIV that I am using it. So as soon as the guy, he come and saw me, I was busy reading, keep on researching the scripture. So this man, because both of them, they are afraid to beat me. They don't want to beat me at all. Because they love me a lot. The next thing that you do, we now quickly run away and go and tell my father, this is what I come and meet with our junior brother is doing inside. My father said, okay, let him come. He came together with one of his driver, his bronchos, bearing them bala. So they came and met with me. The next thing that my father taught me to do, that I should come outside and lay down. I come out and lay down. And therefore, after I lay down, you know, beginning to ask me who permits you to bring this Bible in this house. I say, nobody, sir. He said, I will give you this letter. Burn this Bible by yourself. I say, sir, even though I burn this Bible, I perceive this personally between I and the Lord God my Almighty. This Bible is not going to burn. He said, who give you this, this, this authority to speak this jargonness to me? I say, nobody, sir. But I am very sorry if, this, if what I speak, it pass you. Now the driver, the next thing to do, he now told him, say, ha, honorable, you are just here busy giving him a letter in order to burn the Bible. Let him give me the Bible. I will go and put it inside the toilet. So the man, the driver, he carried the Bible, took the Bible, went and put it inside the toilet. And that very day, I squat down and I'm beginning to pray cry my own special that deeps inner expectation and Jesus who is the son of the living God he answer my expectation I pray Jesus show them that you are the son of God so that after what they did they will realize that yes they touched something see my father you will share money in a day for two people one million five hundred thousand three hundred thousand but I pray, I say, God, seize money from his hand for good two years. And because the Bible says the greatest thing that you are looking for, he also is looking for you. Hallelujah. He's about to go through some sensitive matter that I'm, I'm afraid of. What's the name of that father again? Honorable Yakubu Egwa. This is, I don't know why I see my wearing. Uh, you know the you know the current charm of Lafia, Adamu Mazu. He called him. They were together. He was telling him he would promise him. In fact, they promised him a lot of things before he came to me. As I'm talking to him, that driver that carried that Bible and put inside this thing, he has died. He has just died. He put it inside all as he was going. He died. His father now many things are going on with honorable now. You can't fight Jesus and prosper. This may be your son. Their father is a king in Latvia here. His grandfather is a king. He's still alive. His father is a member. They just sent him out of the house just yesterday. Or he say. Today is one week now. You are not sent out. You are part of the family. We will talk more. You will not die. I'm trying to let you understand what people go through in the name of Jesus.